Hey, hey people, welcome to a new episode of Swamp Ass Podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking about this eh, little thing that happened yesterday called SummerSlam 2017, or as James put it, as James put it, Summer Scam 2017. That's what it was. If you went into this night, like I did from NXT, NXT kicked its ass. I'm sorry, but NXT was totally better. Because Asuka, Amber Moon, best women's match of the year. Bobby Roode versus Drew McIntyre, one of the best title matches I've seen in a long time. Um, <clears throat> uh, Johnny Gar- Gargano versus the other guy, I can't remember his name, it was some kind of weird name. But that was really good. You know, oh, you know, Authors of Pain and uh, Sanity. That was really good. Like, I'm a huge Sanity fan now, but last night was awful. Just awful. First of all, you have the Hardys coming out at 5 o'clock when nobody's there. Why? Seriously, just why? Why not? Why though? You should have put the Hardys on the freaking main show. Not the. Why'd I do Enzo and Cass versus Big Show at 5 o'clock? Like, what's the point? Like, did anybody really care about Big Cass versus Big Show and Enzo being on a shark cage? No! Like, seriously. I'm still mad about that. Why? Why? You've got the legendary tag team back. The Hardy Boys. A name that everybody knows. Everybody loves. Everybody respects. And you put them not only on the pre-show. But when nobody's there at the Barclays Center. Nobody can react to them. No wonder they didn't go broken. There was like. They probably felt insulted coming out there. They probably thought they was back in TNA. Like, seriously, man. Not only that, you got Jason Jordan, and I can't remember him. I don't really, I didn't really care about the pre-show, except for the Hardys. You had Jason Jordan out there, who, for some reason, is Kurt Angle's son. Nobody, nobody explained why yet. These people don't didn't deserve to be out there when nobody was there. What is this freaking TNA? And now we get to the main card. Co- like, now we get to the main card. First of all, you completely buried Bar- Baron Corbin. Whatever run he had left from that Money in the Bank fiasco, it's dead. I'm a Cena fan, but Cena didn't deserve that win. Like, what does that win do for John Cena? Nothing. You know, he's still a 16-time champion. He's still one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. But you should have gave that to Baron Corbin. You effectively almost killed him when you made him cash in and lose in two seconds. Then you made him lose to John Cena, a man who didn't even deserve to win. Do you not know how to build people? You effectively killed Baron Corbin. Like the poor guy's dead now. How are we going to take Baron Corbin seriously now? <clears throat> you know, how will we? Well, how do we know when to give a shit about Baron Corbin again? We still don't want Bray Wyatt, and Bur- Bray Wyatt's completely buried. Uh, do you like killing off people? And not only that, oh my god, you get to the WWE Championship match. First of all, I went back and watched the No Mercy thing with Alexa Bliss over and over 
I like it more now than I used to. Like, I thought it was creepy as hell at first, but I like it more now, but that's completely irrelevant. Um, then you get to the WWE Championship. You know, I've put up with a lot of WWE shit over the years. I've been a fan since 95. What I saw last night, I'm done. I was almost done when Undertaker lost at WrestleMania 30 to Brock Lesnar. But this was a shot that broke the camel's back. I survived the freaking invasion angle. I survived the freaking William Regal GM era, which was it was good up until he became a complete dick. <clears throat> and I, I'm done. I'm at a point now. I just want to watch NXT. You've got this dude that was in 3MB that was a jobber for so many years. You bring him back. Oh, we're going to put the championship on him. <laughs> Why? So you could get more India people? I'm pretty sure the India people that was watching didn't didn't watch it for Jinder Mahal. Like, seriously. What was the point of bringing him back? Seriously. The dude's fucking roided up to, to Kansas. Like, why? What did you freaking try to accomplish here? <sighs> oh my god. Poor Shinsuke. You have Shinsuke Nakamura, one of the best wrestlers ever. Like, nobody comes close to Shinsuke Nakamura. I've watched his New Japan stuff. He was freaking great in New Japan. He was great in NXT. You bring him over to here, and you made him lose to a jobber. I'm sorry, but he's still a jobber to me. I don't care. He's a jobber. But you made Shinsuke a dude you could build your company off of. Lose to the guy from 3MB. Who is booking this? What head trauma award is in the WWE writing room? This is this is fucking stupid. Why did you make Shinsuke Nakamura lose to Jingle My Balls? Why? Do you want to kill off your greatest talent that you have on the roster? WWE, you have an opportunity with Shinsuke. And you want to kill him? Really? It's Shinsuke. Don't kill this guy. The dude is a... I can't talk about this match without getting pissed off and upset. You made him lose to fucking Gender Mahal. Why not put the belt on Shinsuke? Mahal's had it long enough. He's established his run as champion. Who the hell's gonna get the title now? Like, who do you have planned to take the belt off of Mahal? I'm sick of the modern day Maharaja. That, that shit expired months ago for me. The dude's a modern day jobber that that you pushed for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. WWE, until you can fix your shit, I'm done. 
No more of these shitty ass pay per views. No, I I've stopped watching Raw completely. I haven't watched Raw in, in a month, and I've stopped watching SmackDown altogether. It this is stupid. You almost killed the greatest wrestler ever made. You almost killed fucking Shinsuke Nakamura. One of your greatest talents. And you effectively buried Baron Corbin to the point he's not coming out of that grave. Sound off in the comments. I didn't want to do a full re I didn't want to do a full review. I'll leave that to OK Fabe. What check the channel out. He's one of the cool guys ever. And another thing. There was no pyro at all last night. This is your supposedly biggest part of the summer. Your WrestleMania of the summer. And you have zero pyro. Yeah, you get Shawn Michaels and Colonel Sanders. Who the hell is managing their money? A fucking retard? Seriously. Right now the swamp is raging. SummerSlam 2017 will go down as the worst pay-per-view I have ever seen. This, this was an absolute travesty of a wrestling show. This wasn't a wrestling show. It was a it was a train wreck. Like I said on Twitter, I give this an F minus 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 minus. This show was absolutely god awful from start to finish. The only saving redeeming factor was the main event, and not only and that wasn't all that great. I mean, it was great, but it didn't save the show. Fuck WWE. Only watch NXT. This. No. Just. No. That was stupid. Uh, no. Screw you, WWE. I hope. I hope the whole company dies. Shout out to James and Tiff of, of Dad Ass Podcast. Shout out to OK Fabe. Shout out to Billy Ricky who made this layoff for me. Shout out to the Foul Mouse Network. Shout out to Gina, Sir Cardinal, Canadian Basement. Fuck this company. Seriously.